Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we are going to check out another 4K NVR system. And this one is from Anki. They let me choose which system I want to test out. And I decided to try and check out their 4K turret cameras. So this is the system that they sent me. Thank you Anki for sending me this system for review. So we will check out the features, do the unboxing, set up and install, and do some testing and see if the video and audio quality stacks up to other 4K and VR cameras that I've tested. Now let's check out its features. So this is a 4K 8 megapixel Ultra HD camera and uses H.265 which is a more efficient encoding than H.264 resulting in lesser file sizes for the same or even better quality videos. It has a 120 degree field of view and night vision distance of up to 100 feet. This is a PoE system like the other NVR systems that I have tested. It has motion triggered alerts via email or push notifications to your smartphone. It has EXIR night vision which allows for more evenly dispersed infrared illumination at night. It supports OnVIF which this camera is compatible with other surveillance software and can be connected to third-party IP cameras. It has 4K video output, remote access via the Anki Vision app for your smartphone, and they also have the Guarding Vision client software for your computer. The cameras are weatherproof with an IP67 rating and working temperatures of negative 40 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Time to open the box. They sent me the 4 camera kit and with a 2 terabyte hard drive installed. First, we have the Ethernet cables. There are two 30 meters or 98 feet and two 18 meters or 59 feet. One end of the cables already have the weatherproof Ethernet couplers installed. So we have four turret cameras and when you open up the box, you will see the mounting template. You have a small CD which has the client software on it and we have the quick start guide. We have some more weatherproof couplers, mounting screws and plastic anchors. And we have the turret camera itself. It is metal and the base is wider than I thought. It is 12 centimeters or 4 by 5 8 of an inch in diameter. We have the EXIR LED on one side and the camera lens on the other side. We have the PoE Ethernet port and also a 12 volt DC power option if you are not connecting it to a PoE and this one has a rubber cover on it. As to the NVR, we have some status lights in the front, scroll buttons, and a USB port. At the back, we have the 8 Ethernet PoE ports to plug in your cameras. This is an 8-channel NVR, audio in and out, a VGA port, HDMI port, LAN port to connect to your router, and another USB port. We have the 48-volt power supply port and the on and off switch. What else is inside the box? We have another CD, we have the window sticker, and the user manual. In the accessories box, we have an Ethernet cable to connect the NVR to the router, HDMI cable, power supply cord, the power supply adapter, and we have the mouse for the NVR, and we have a remote control. Time to set this up. Setting up the NVR is pretty easy. The cameras are connected via the Ethernet cables at the back and this NVR can handle up to 8 4K cameras. They are PoE meaning the Ethernet cable is providing power to the cameras plus handling video and audio data from the camera to the recorder. The hardest part of this system is routing the Ethernet cables from where you want to install the cameras to inside your house and where your router or where you're planning to set up your NVR. But you just have to do this one time or you can hire somebody to do it for you. After that, you can just swap your old NVR system to a new one and install the new cameras. In my setup, I have wired my house more than 10 years ago and this is what I used on my current 4K setup. For this review and testing though, I'm only going to use and set up one camera and will be testing its video and audio quality. And I'll be checking out the NVR interface itself and also the mobile app and the PC client software and see if they are user friendly and responsive. These cameras uses pixel-based motion detection, so you'll get a lot of false motion alerts. Any changes in the pixels like shadows and light swaying leaves will trigger the motion detection. So I will just be testing how fast it sends a notification. But I highly discourage it even if there are motion zoning. Let's check out the NVR interface. I like that instead of typing in your password, you just need to draw the pattern that you set up initially using the mouse to access the NVR settings. 
It has a lot of settings that you can tweak, like changing camera settings and setting up motion detection, but 24-7 recording is the best setup for this system. Okay, before I show the testing video, I found out after I did my video clarity test and when I download and check the footage, that there is no audio. I thought I messed up the camera and the NVR settings at first. Then I realized when I got back to the features of the cameras in the Anki's website, that there is no audio because there is no mic in the camera. So I contacted Anki just to make sure and they said that all of their NVR cameras don't have audio. Well, this in itself is a deal breaker for me because part of security and surveillance system is audio. There are sounds or conversations that you might want to hear that are out of view of the camera. But they did tell me to continue with this review, so we will just be checking the video quality of this system. Another thing that I had a hard time making it to work, and which personally I will not use anyways, is the motion detection push notification. I know that this camera uses pixel-based motion detection that you can set the zones using the grid system. And I also know from the monitor when the sensor is triggered, but not able to get it to send a push notification to my phone. I checked all the settings I made sure that it's on, but still no notification. It might be a user error on my part, but this just shows that the app and the NVR software is not that user friendly. Lastly, this is a general observation I made from testing different 4K systems and also the Arlo Ultra when it was initially released, which this is where I first noticed the issue, and that is the 4K footage in itself. I will talk more about this in a separate video in the near future, but basically, if you will be handling the 4K footage outside of its system, which probably what is going to happen when you share the footage to the police or to show it to social media, then you will need to search for the clip on the NVR and download it to a portable drive, like a thumb drive. Same thing with the Arlo Ultra, which the footage is saved in the micro SD card in a smart hub. And to play that footage to a computer, you need to have a decent specs computer to play it properly. And this one applies to any 4K video file. But the Anki's footage is like the footage I got from the Arlo Ultra when I first tested it. By the way, the Ultra's footage doesn't have this issue now. This is graying out of the footage. With the Anki, the Windows default movie and TV app will not play the footage and will state that the file is not supported, which is an MP4 file. Same thing with Windows Media Player or the VLC Player. So for the end user to play this file, they need another program, and for me to be able to play the footage and add it to my video, I need to process it first using my video editor, and then that's the only time it will be playable. Okay, with the Running Man test, this camera failed big time in my first testing, and the screen capture was blurry. I then wanted to check what the footage frame rate was and realized that I couldn't even get that data if you do the right click, property, and details. It is empty. Anyways, I checked the actual footage in the NVR, which is also blurry. So just to make sure, I tested it again, and this time it was fine and clear. So I'm not sure, and the only difference from the two footages is that the blurry footage was taken in the afternoon and the clear one in the morning. Anyways, there is definitely an issue either the codex on popular video players needs to be updated, which I doubt it is, or the Anki just needs to update the output footage from their 4K cameras so as to be compatible with Windows video players. Also, while doing all these testing, my main editing computer, which is a year and a few months old, crapped out on me. 
And I'm not blaming this on the and key, but I'm not sure if it has something to do with it. The computer tech already told me it wasn't a hardware issue, and it was definitely software. So he has to restore the computer to its original settings. Luckily, I was able to retrieve most of my video files. Anyways, just keep that in mind when handling 4K files in your computer. The EXIR works pretty good in distributing the infrared all around so that there are no darker areas in the camera's view, as compared to the Reolink or the Swan, which has the flashlight effect, which is the IR is focused more in the middle of the camera's field of view. Overall, the missing audio on the cameras are a deal breaker for me, plus the video output that needs to have some post-processing so as to be able to play on popular window media players. The Anki's client software Guarding Vision takes too long to load and uses up a lot of my computer resources that I didn't really check and tested it out. But the app Anki Vision though is pretty responsive and gets to live view pretty quick, but you're not able to change the camera settings via the app. The NVR software is also pretty intuitive. There are a lot of settings that you can change. As to pricing, the 4 camera system that Anki sent me has a 2TB hard drive installed and retails for $560. Anyways, what do you think guys? Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video, especially that making this video crash my main editing computer. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click that little bell icon so that you'll get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.